everybody for this video on the channel. Let's show you guys my life, see what I do around here. Driving this mixer truck. Been doing it for about three, three, four years already. We're just backing up under the plant right now. Get our first load of the day. tough time with this one lately i don't know why they just changed this boot on it it's kind of it's kind of different i don't know if it's a little longer or what's going on but having a tough time with this new boot recently there we go now we're under there make sure our make sure our shoots down and just put our booster down real quick be a little annoying. Drive it up a little bit so it can go down faster. There we go. Now we just sit here and wait for a load to pop up on our tablet here. Find out where we're going. See what we're gonna do. What we're gonna get ourselves into today. Probably gonna be a little stuttery because it's my first video. I'm not used to this type of stuff, but I've been working a lot of night shifts. And that that guy over there, it's my friend Mikey. Mondo's over there on the right side. So Mikey's our photographer here at the company. Not an official company photographer, but it's his hobby. It's what he wants to do for a living, get out of trucking, get himself being a photographer, maybe a drone pilot whatever he wants to do but does great great content put his, his link on, under the on the description down below but you guys check out his stuff now we got our load we're going to CVC four and a half slump probably doing uh some house labs looks like it so we revved up our drum now we're just gonna wait get loaded head on over there and wash down so I'll see you guys once we once we get loaded and start washing the truck down oh let's go wash this baby down we don't got the strongest water pressure here but it does the job Lined up, drop a booster a little bit more.
trying to get out of here fast enough. That way the other driver doesn't have to go to that second washout over there. Kind of a pain, the water's dirty, it's recycled water. We don't really want that in the concrete. So we're trying to hurry up, get, get out of here as fast as we can, fix our load. to get out of here pretty fast wash down as fast as you can carefully obviously but the main thing around here safety safety's first we all want to get home just how we got here we got our families at home waiting for us little, my little girls waiting for me and my wife so I want to get back home in one piece I mean it's, it's an easy job but it comes with this it comes with this uh the, the dangers of this job. Very easy to overturn one of these, roll over. So you gotta be careful, drive safe, drive smart. You know how it is out there in the streets. Once we're out of this yard, everybody drives crazy, everybody gets crazy. Not everybody forgets how to drive around right here. Ticket, a little ticket. Right back. 530 yards on number six. Now we're gonna check our booster pressure. Try to keep it around 29, 3,000. Check. <coughs> check our truck. We got water. We got no flats. Good to go. Everything's put away. Everything's washed up. The slump is good, we're not leaving too wet, not leaving too dry. Looks pretty good to me. Now we're going up to the job. Look over here, usually just look for the pump. Up. That blue pump up there. I usually just look for that in the sky and then pretty much I know where I'm at. It's been coming here a lot lately though, so I already know where, where the jobs are most of them. Washing down. Just finished unloading. He's getting himself a GoPro too. Well, he has a GoPro, so he's gonna start recording too. Get his point of view. A lot of us are getting stuff like this just because we're bored. Pretty much got nothing to do out here. Get crazy, so just gotta bear with everybody. See what I mean? I got people driving small spaces like this, just drive all crazy. Don't really know what's going on. We called an accident or something. It's ridiculous out here. Right, let's go check on our slump. Let's see how it looks. We need to add water to it. Doing the footing, probably. Yeah, I for the first ones. <laughs> Let's go check out with Mike, see what he's doing over here. Usually, these houses. I think they're post-tension houses. <clears throat> they do the first like 
three, four loads and do them at a three inch slung, set the base, and then they start pouring everything else at a four, four and a half, five. That's what me and Mondo have. We have a four and a half five right now. <clears throat> Mikey, Mikey. Oh, oh, shit, I thought that was a flashlight. <laughs> oh, yeah, now it's our turn. We're doing one truck for three inch. And now we're gonna go back there with the four and a half, five. They like it pretty wet though, so I wouldn't be surprised if they asked me to put it up to like about a five, five and a half. Shoot set up. Let's see, we're at about a four and a half, maybe. You don't know till you see it. right there at the pump as you guys saw that and uh, now we're washing down to go back to the yard a lot of people don't wash down but majority of us do you can tell who washes and who doesn't wash down just by the way their truck looks and I like to keep my truck as clean as possible or as clean as the yard or the plant lets me because sometimes You'll be rushed or don't make a mess on your truck. Don't dump concrete all over, whatever the case may be. So I try to keep it as clean as I can because it's a, it's a representation of yourself. How clean, you, how clean you get it, how clean you leave it at the end of the day and all that. There may be days that uh, you're just too tired. You just don't want to clean it. But, Gotta give it a little scrubbing here and there. That's what Saturdays are good for. One, two loads and then wash on your truck and head on home. For a wash down, we use a reclaim system, which is this bucket. And that bucket down there, that box, we wash down to this bucket, all the water that's in here, goes down through this hose into that, into that box right there. Job sites don't have wash downs, wash outs, whatever. We use this. It's an easy system to use. It's not bad. You just have to keep everything clean because if you let any of this concrete or anything go in there, all the slurry that stays in the in the hose, it'll build up, it'll make it hard, and it's gonna be a lot harder on you to wash down. Try to keep everything clean. I usually run water through the hose two times, maybe three, depending. 
Right now, I just run it down twice. Should be good. Give it a little wiggle wiggle. Put that up there. Come tight this down. All this job, all this job really is is a routine. Every day, same thing. Same thing, different job. That's all it is. It gets boring sometimes, but I like it. it. Keeps me busy. This is the most physical the job gets, washing down. Like, I don't really do anything else other than this. Just drive the truck. So it's not, a, it's not hard. Not physically hard. Take our bucket. We'll go put it in this spot. You gotta make sure they're secure with those straps. If you don't, it'll fly off. It's happened to me twice already that it's came off. I had it strapped down, but if you hit a if you if you hit a bump hard enough, it'll fly off. And it's happened. And it's dangerous. On that if you're in traffic or wherever. It could hit a car, it could hit a person. So you gotta be aware of what you're doing, making sure you put everything back how it was, strapped down. Whatever it had on there, lock it up. Now we just give the whole truck a little rinse. Give the road a little rinse. Alright, I'm back in the yard now. We'll wash down our bucket. Get ready for another load. This will probably be the end of the video just because it's just like a little rough draft day type of thing I'm working on. Just to see how it works out, see how it is, what I have to work on, fix and all that. So get my bucket, wash it out. Come over here, take the plug off. That drains, we come and clean this one out. Bucket, but mine's getting worked on right now because it's got all clogged up and dirty and messed up so they're fixing it right now getting a new handle on it cleaning it up real quick that's all the concrete that was on the chute leftover concrete from the shoe too, all the, all the concrete, the cement, and all that.
our plug back in just for the next trip. We already have it ready, good to go. Go get another load just keep the day going like this so probably be the end of the video right here and uh catch you on the next one thank you for watching <laughs>